We're underway for the second half. Finney at Genesee Valley starting the third quarter down by eight. Score 17 to 25. This is sectional play, second round. Falcons number five facing Genesee Valley number four. And Genesee Valley unable to get any points off their possession. Finney comes away with the ball. And there we go. No foul call. It's just going to be Falcons ball. Van Loon from the corner. A little too much on it. Pass Quintonio trying for the rebound. Can't get it. And Genesee Valley comes away with the ball. Yeah, the next jump ball will go to the Falcons, by the way. So contesting is not a bad idea. Jaguars have somebody in the paint. Yep. Not able to make the shot. They do get the ball back. And they're going for three. Bounces off the back of the rim. Still with the ball. And now the Falcons get it. A little bit of mishandling there. Oh, that pass intended for Martin hit a Genesee Valley player instead. Jaguars get the ball back. So it's no additional scoring yet here in the second half. The minute 20 is already off the clock. Genesee Valley down underneath. Can't make the easy shot. And the Falcons come away with the ball. Van Leeuwen loses the ball. Trying to come down the sideline. Draws a foul. Falcons get the ball here. Martin driving. Tried to dump it off to Ziegler. The ball got knocked out of bounds. It's going to stay Falcons ball. Get it into Crandall. Back out to the outside now. Calling out the play. Jaguars tip the ball out of bounds. And they're going to get to keep it. Good passes, let's go. They get the ball in. Still out quite a ways. And there's a tip. Martin grabs it, drives down, goes for the layup, gets a ball knocked out of her hands and out of bounds. It's going to stay Falcons ball on the baseline. The score is still 17 to 25. Falcons get the ball in miraculously. There's a shot. Too much on it. And we have a jump ball call. That should stay Falcons ball. Five forty-one to go in the third quarter. The score is still seventeen to twenty-five. The Falcons down. Make that nineteen to twenty-five. The Falcons closing to within six. Jaguars try and get the ball down the court. Ball gets tipped out of bounds by Lydia Van Leeuwen. Still going to be Jaguars ball. And they're going full stack down here to try to get the ball in. They do that. And they get the charge. Gabby Ziegler stands her ground and draws the charge penalty. And the Falcons with the ball. Falcons still passing around. There's a shot. It's short. And the Jaguars get the ball back. 5-11 to go in the third. Jaguars driving down the court. Slow up. Stop. Pass it back. Working around the perimeter. Deep perimeter. They get a pass down inside. Can't make the shot there. The ball's back outside again. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Now they get the ball inside. And they're going from the three-point line. Hits the rim. 
And out of bounds off of Genesee Valley. So it'll be Falcons ball going down. 444 in the third quarter. Falcons down 19 to 25, waiting for the shot clock to get reset. There we go. Falcons get the ball in. And there's a tip from the Jaguars. And they go for the layup. They get it and they draw the foul. No. So it's 19 to 27 now. First foul called on Grace Martin tonight. Jaguars come to the line to shoot for one. There's the shot too much on it. Jaguars get the rebound. There's a tip. Genesee Valley chases the ball out of bounds and it's gonna be Falcons ball. So no points off of the foul shot. Score is still 19 to 27. So Falcons have the ball coming in right in front of the table. We get it out to Crandall. Crandall brings it up. Back to Martin. Martin to Van Leeuwen. He woke up just in time to keep it in bounds. Crandall driving in. Back to Pasquantonio. Back to Martin. Martin driving in, loses the ball, gets it back. And the Jaguars end up with the ball. Jaguars taking their time. Driving right into the basket. Uncontested to the goal. 19 to 29. It's the score now as the Falcons are now down by 10. Pasquantonio saves that ball, takes a shot, can't get it, land it. And the ball ends up on the floor. Jaguars with it. Van Leeuwen, some one-man defensive effort trying to create a turnover. And the Jaguars get the ball inside, can't make the shot. And the ball goes out of bounds off Falcon hands. It's going to be Jaguars ball on the baseline. They get someone open right under the basket. The shot's no good, but it does draw a foul. Second off of Grace Martin. Genesee Valley comes to the free throw line for two. And they sink the first one, so it's 19 to 30 now, an 11 point deficit for the Falcons. Second one hits the rim. And Genesee Valley gets the rebound and is good for two. So it's 19 to 32 as the Falcons drop to a 13 point deficit. And Coach Blue calls a full timeout. Try to get his team back in the game. So we have three minutes, four seconds to go in the third quarter. Falcons started off the quarter with a good defensive stand and pulled to within six of the Jaguars, but then fell apart. Lead for the Jaguars is now 13. And the Jaguars come back on the floor. Falcons are out here to meet them. It's going to be Falcons ball going down. Genesee Valley with a little lighthearted pressure. Nothing really happening there. And 
And Crandall, left wide open, will hit that almost every time. And the Falcons are now 21 up to 32. Genesee Valley with the ball. Try to pass it in the middle. Too much on it. Apparently. Oh, okay. No, it's Falcons ball. All right. Misread the hand signals there. And over and back is the call as the pass happens right at midcourt. Genesee Valley with the ball. On the perimeter. Waiting for an opportunity in the middle. I think they've got one there. And they do. 21-34. Martin driving. Driving. It's the Pasquantonio. Pasquantonio drives in. Sends it back out to the outside. And they try to pass it in. It gets tipped. It's going to stay Falcons ball here in the near corner. We got Van Leeuwen all the way back by midcourt. Falcons looking for an opportunity. Shot clock's running out. And Genesee Valley with the ball. And they miss that pass. It's going to be Falcons ball going down. Genesee Valley with a little light pressure. Not quite enough to cause a problem. Falcons get down there, get the ball to Ziegler. A shot bounces and is out. Sabrina Pasquantonio fighting for the ball. And they're going to call a shooting penalty on the Jaguars. So Pasquantonio comes to the line with two shots. As the Falcons are down, 21-34, the first shot. Hits the rim and bounces. One shot still to go. Second shot is good. 22-34 your score now. A 12-point deficit for the Falcons. Genesee Valley with the ball. Get it down the court. Go for three. It's short. Van Leeuwen grabs it. A minute to go here in the third quarter. Van Leeuwen runs into trouble. Gets it off to Crandall. Crandall out to Martin. Martin tries to get it into Ziegler. The ball gets batted out of bounds by Genesee Valley. So still Falcons ball. It's here on the sideline. And that long pass intended for Ziegler is nabbed by one of the really tall players there on the Jaguars. He's got a couple of them. Free ball. Pasquantonio grabs it. Weaves her way down. Runs into trouble. Gets it to Van Leeuwen who shoots. She's wide. Martin saves the ball only for Genesee Valley to grab it. Van Leeuwen tips the ball, goes out of bounds. It's going to still be Genesee Valley ball, but it slows down the play. Get the ball in. 19 seconds on the clock for the third quarter. And they step out of bounds. Forced out of bounds, apparently. It's still Genesee Valley ball. There's your shot. Bounces off the rim. Martin chasing it. No, Jaguars get it back and shoot. Ball goes out of bounds as time expires in the third quarter. So after three, your score is Finney Falcons 22, Genesee Valley 34.
the Falcons with a 12 point deficit. Started off the third quarter strong, had trouble as they went into it. And just so you know what this is for is to benefit Rachel Marsh from Belfast. Rachel is a student at Belfast Central School. His daughter, Wade, and Charlotte Marsh. Wade is a bus driver here at Genesee Valley. She was recently diagnosed with thyroid cancer. She is active. She's a cheerleader at Belfast. He followed her dancing, gymnastics, and 4-H. The GBCS Sports Boosters held a 50-50 raffle on Wednesday night at the boys' game. And then we have a 50-50 raffle that we did tonight at the girls' game. The winner will receive $98. All proceeds will be given to Rachel and her family to help with their medical expenses. So with no further, our winning number is a red, red complete number, 762-8469. Eight, four, six, nine is the last four numbers. And we're looking for a winner. I have one, give it back to her. And between the two games, between this game and the boys game that we had, we raised over $300. And I think that's just wonderful. Hey, they got a winner. Sean McCullough and the two girls. And he has donated the entire amount of Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. Nice show, Jaguars. Nice show. Okay. Okay, both teams back on the floor for the fourth quarter. Falcons with 12-point deficit to overcome. Low-scoring game. A lot of missed shots. A lot of shots that have rolled around the inside and come back out, especially for the Falcons. Genesee Valley with the ball. Looking for something. They get it right underneath. They can't make a shot. Martin's there. Nabs the ball. Gets it out to Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen's wide open. Gets down to Crandall. Crandall's got a lot of blocking in front of her, and so the ball's back to Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen dumps it back to Martin. Martin drives in. Gets called for a double dribble. So Genesee Valley gets the ball back with seven and a half to go. And a 12-point lead. Having trouble getting out of their end of the court. Now they're down there. Still pretty tight coverage from the Falcons, and that's going to draw a foul. It's Pasquantonio charged with the offense. That's her third for the night as Genesee Valley comes to the line for two shots. First shots away. Bounces and is no good. Score remains 22-34. Second shot in the air. Goes in. 22-35 is your score. Falcons get the ball back. Van Leeuwen bringing it up. Crosses midcourt. Gets it off to Crandall. Crandall, long pass back to Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen going for three. No, it hits the backboard. And we've got a foul called. So Falcons get the ball on the baseline. And then gets it out to Crandall. Crandall's going to shoot before the block gets there. And when Crandall shoots, she scores. 25-35 is the score as Falcons closed within 10. Genesee Valley some trouble getting it down the court. Now it's there, and the layup as well. 25-37. Falcons with the ball. Crandall gets the ball over to Van Leeuwen. Keeps it. No, does not keep it in bounds. Tough call there. 
Grab the ball. And it's going to be Jaguars ball on the far sideline. They get the ball in. Get down the court. There's a tip from Martin. Jaguars keep it. Pass it down. And there's the shot. No, too much on it. Ziegler with the rebound. Hands it off to Van Leeuwen to carry it up the floor. Van Leeuwen to Crandall. Crandall's open. And that's her first miss of the night. Janice Valley gets the ball back. Gets down quickly. Too quickly. They pull back and try to set up a play. They're going for three. Bounces. It's not there. They save the ball. They shoot for two. And they've got that. It's 25-39. Falcons get the ball, get it down the court. No. A little interference there from Genesee Valley, and the call is going to go our way as the Falcons will get the ball on the sideline. And Lewin looking for an opportunity, sends it back to Martin. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Martin drives in, shoots, it's short, goes out of bounds. It's going to be Genesee Valley ball. 5 of 29 to go in the game. The Falcons down by 14, score 39 to 25. The Jaguars successfully get the ball down the court. There's the cut inside. Send it back out. Shooting. Around the rim and out. And Ziegler grabs the rebound. And Lewin carries the ball down the court. Martin driving in. Passes out to Crandall. who's wide open. And good for three. 28-39. 11 point deficit now for the Falcons. Genesee Valley with long passes to get the ball down the court. Now trying to make something happen inside. It's not there. Ball is loose. And a timeout called. 30 second timeout call from the Genesee Valley head coach. He had a player on her knees. I'm going to try to save a travel call. So the stop being the clock there with four and a half to go in the game. Falcons down 28 to 39. It's an 11 point lead for the Jaguars. This is sectional play. The winner tonight will have their season continue at least one more game. The loser is done. Something particularly pertinent for two seniors on the Falcons, Grace Martin and Lydia Van Leeuwen, who have been playing basketball together for the Falcons since seventh grade. Martin drives. Somehow, looked like she had been successful. Lots of shouting going on. Coach doesn't agree with the out of bounds call, but basketball's back underway. The Jaguars down there, and we've got a tip from Martin. It sets the ball out of bounds. It's going to be Jaguars ball. Jaguars get the shot away, but it's no good. And Ziegler comes down with the ball, gets it out to Martin. Gets it out to Crandall, back to Van Loon, back to Martin. She's going to go for three. A little too much on it. Crandall chases it down. Van Loon saves it, keeps the ball in play. Got 10 seconds on the shot clock. Martin shoots again. And that one's good for three. 
31-39. An eight-point deficit now for the Falcons. And a travel on the Jaguars. Gives the ball back to the Falcons. Three forty-two to go in the game. Falcons with the ball, going for three. Van Leeuwen's shot has too much on it, and the Jaguars get it back. The Jaguars working on the three-point line, looking to get somebody cut in. They haven't been able to get it there. Going for three. It's short. Goes out of bounds. It's going to be Falcons' ball. So Falcons, with a break, get the ball back. They've cut their deficit to eight points. From 14 at one point. Pasquantonio going for three. Hits the rim. Ziegler gets two. And on the rebound. 33-39, six-point lead now for the Jaguars. We quickly get the ball down the court. A great defense from Gabby Ziegler as the ball goes out of bounds, and the coach for the Jaguars forced to call a timeout, stopping the clock at 2.53 to go in the game as the Falcons have closed within six by a score of 33-39. Both these teams with just one foul apiece here in this quarter, so we're not anywhere near bonus territory, but there is a player on the Jaguars team who has four fouls to her name. So a potential that one of their starters could end up coming to the bench here as the minutes close. Jaguars back on the floor. Falcons join them, and it is going to be Falcons' ball going down. So Falcons with the ball. And with six points to make up, they get the ball in. It's 2.50 to go in the game. Van Leeuwen tries to drive in, runs into a wall of white jerseys. I don't see that travel, but that's the call, and so it's going to go Jaguars ball. Jags get it in. They're driving down. They turn back, slowing down. Pass to the outside. They get it in the inside, lose the ball. Van Leeuwen with it for the Falcons. Van Leeuwen passes down to Pasquantonio. Pasquantonio in trouble, sends it out to Grace. Ziegler's shot hits the rim, and the Jaguars get the ball back. Falcons pressing, trying to create a turnover. Got a little bobble. The Jaguars get down the court. Jaguars still working on the outside. Ziegler bounces that ball, grabs it, driving down, drives down to the paint, goes up for the shot, gets tripped, and there is no call. And we have a timeout called by the Genesee Valley coach. So the clock stops with a minute 53 to go in the game. Score is still Finney 33, Genesee Valley 39. So a six point deficit for the Falcons to overcome. They've climbed back from a 14-point deficit. And we have, yes, a minute 53 to go in the game. Things definitely getting exciting as the game draws to a close here. Falcons have tightened up their gameplay. 
been better with the ball control. Jaguars trying to hold on to the lead that they've built over the first three quarters. The Falcons come to the court. It's going to be Genesee Valley ball coming in. They had the ball and timeout was called. They get it in. Falcons playing tight. And Genesee Valley loses the ball. Martin grabs it. It's going to be a jump ball call. And that's going to be Falcons ball going down. Genesee Valley with a light amount of pressure. Falcons still with the ball. Pass Antonio from the corner. Tries to drive in. Sends it out to Crandall. Crandall is uncovered. Her shot hit the rim. And the ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be Jaguars ball right in front of the Finney bench. Jaguars get the ball in bounds. A minute 20 to go in the game. Jaguars trying to slow it down. Ball is loose. Martin grabs it for the Falcons. Gets it out to Pasquantonio. Pasquantonio drives down, turns back, sends it over to Crandall. One minute to go. Martin with the ball. Going for three. And it's good. And the clock is stopped. There's a foul of some sort. Confusion as the clock was stopped. All right. So they did count the basket. So it's 36 39. There was a foul called. That foul hasn't been put on the board, though. And there was a timeout called. And the clock has also been reset. All right, so the clock is now set to 55 and a half seconds. The shot clock is at zero, or is at 30. The Falcons have a score of 36. The Jaguars a score of 39. A three-point game with just under a minute to go. the Jaguars get the ball back. Because I think they had possession. Did they not? Yes. So Jaguars get the ball on the sideline. They get the ball in. Jaguars trying to drain the clock. Working around the perimeter. Now going in, drive in, and they make the basket. So it's 36 41. Five point lead for the Jaguars. 32 seconds to go in the game. Martin drives in, gets the pass from Antonio, back to Martin, to Van Leeuwen. She backs up, gets it out to Crandall, to Martin. Motioning. For some help, drives in, gets to the pass from Tony, who shoots and hits the rim and bounces out. We've got 10 seconds left on the game. And a foul stops the clock, stops momentum. It's going to be Jaguars ball on the sideline. Eight seconds to go. They get the ball in. And about stop the clock again. Jaguars ball. 
Get the ball in. Stop the clock with another foul. So now it comes to four fouls for the Falcons. Six seconds on the clock. That means the Jaguars are going to shoot for two. Currently with a five point lead. First shot's a miss. Second shot is also a miss. And coach calls a timeout. So we have 1.2 seconds left in the game. Falcons are down by five. going to be Falcons ball coming in Randall's shot as time expires does not find the goal and the game comes to a close the final score your Finney Falcons 36 Genesee Valley Jaguars 41 as Genesee Valley advances to the next round of the sections and the Falcons